Since we have now finished with the modeling and loading of our steel hull, we start the calculation in RFEM 6 in this video. There are several ways to start a calculation in RFEM. For example, you can use the Calculate All button to calculate all load cases, design situations and load combinations at once. Alternatively, we can expand the Calculate menu and select one of the available calculation options. We can only calculate the current loading or use the To Calculate function to calculate specific design situations and combinations. Another innovation of RFEM 6 is used here. The program now uses all your computer's available processors. For models where many load combinations have to be calculated, several solvers are started in parallel. Each solver then calculates a load combination. This leads to a better utilization of the cores and thus to faster calculations. Before we start a calculation, we can define the settings of specific load combinations. To do this, we open the Load Cases and Combinations dialog box again and go to the Load Combinations tab. Here we can create settings for a certain load combination under Options that are taken into account in the calculation, such as the stability analysis. As usual, you can edit them using the buttons to the right of the list or create new ones. When we are done with the settings, we click the Calculate button at the bottom of the window to calculate the selected load combination. After an error-free calculation, the results are displayed on the model. The navigator has an additional tab, the Results Navigator. Here you can display the different results such as deformations, internal forces or support reactions. The result type is defined in the navigator and the loading is displayed at the top of the list. Since only the selected load combination is calculated, the results can only be seen for this one. If you want to display the results of a different loading or combination, RFEM asks you if it should be calculated now, because no results are available yet. Now you know how to perform a calculation in RFEM 6. In the next video, we will look at the graphical input and the tabular results. Till next time.